ndeba ye kene ni mono ozo no bo se nketa ta asiri mono ko dre na ina mma asim na ya de gechi gechi ada agu agu ige sine so la ya bo ibo media bo eba isi wene hotel nu ya bo ngara bo sia din ku mpa ai ai sika ego si uno basta ma ki yene me na ibo community and oboda no wine on email eh di ko si di obun anka bu mbo si si ina ejite channel ai bo ibo media ba mbo linne ke subscribe and share ya ko metu ko rutendo ozo ko rutendo ozo aka eh maka na information ai na enyu nu bu yu nu ga ma basta ma ki yene me no boda anu ko nu mara ko nu si akwado na ya bi fe bu ya ka si ka i drop ko nu before i go see ni ya juma ki awe bia i ge se ya bi fe juma ki awe bia i drop ora ya lo gi i feature basta ma ka ya bi fe ni ni re ku ni ro akuko alright over to you sir you go and value the development and proper compensation should be paid so we are demanding the following one that government should stop demolition because there is crisis in this country crisis in the economy crisis on employment we talk of all this uh, kidnapping and all these problems is part of the problem is uh, on uh, unemployment economic system and these things will make it worse so we as a last one number two government should not say they won't pay compensation because people Igbos, all the ones I have seen never took away the land forcefully from anybody. If they took away land forcefully, the person should come and tell the world. They bought it from the original owners. There is no land in this country that didn't have original owner. They bought it by original owners. Yes, the government has a right. We don't doubt that. If the government want to take that, they now will value it. They now will give them sufficient time. You don't just give them five days or six days. Give them time to pack away. These people have no money. Most of them are, are poor traders who have over the years made money, saving 1,500, this and that, until they make one million or so. They are poor people. If you say you're giving them five days, where will they go? Some of them are homeless. So give them sufficient time. They will pack away and then pay them compensation for the structure they have built so that they will, they, they will know that the government is fair to them. That's all we are demanding. I think uh, from all indications, it appears the government is thinking in that direction now. But I know there are some people who have so, such hatred for Igbos and they don't hide it for no just cause really. You tell them, they tell you Igbos are greedy, Igbos are this, what type of greed? They say Igbos, some of them say Igbos are before others. Everybody. It's every human being is like that. They say it was I be I Ibo, Ibo, I before that. Every tribe in Nigeria. I want you to check. It was are even the best. All these governments, all these people, have you seen how many of them have got Ibo special assistance or Ibo uh, go and count the people they take? Today, how many Ibos are you seeing in authority? But Ibos are the only people who when they have power consider federal character. So I think that is what that's, we want fairness. They should stop the demolition. The economy is too bad. They should give sufficient notice. They should now value the properties and then tell the people how much they are going to get. That's all. Then they can now pay them the money and demolish the place and use the law for whatever they want to do. That is what we actually expect anywhere. This thing, as I said, is not only in uh, Lagos. It's the same thing in Abuja. You know, it's normal. I have told my people that you should, most people are frustrated. I've told them as a leader, don't be frustrated. It's normal human instinct. Once people think you are successful, they are bound to attribute it to many things. Sometimes people say that drug pushers, that this, that this. But I have in my office, because of this kept record of uh, all the people arrested for drugs. Yes, I have seen some evil names here. But there is no tribe in Nigeria that is not involved in drug, in drug trafficking. It's not the worst. I have seen kid, kidnappers. Well, today you will know better who are being kidnapped. And in fact, you see the thing that is happening in the Northwest. It's, it's paining us in Ohaneze. It's paining Igbos what is happening in the Northwest. No, I mean, the Northwest and Northeast. Because we believe, and I want Nigerians to know that, 
Every Nigerian should know that it will come down if he's not arrested. And the way the government is handling it now, it will not be solved. I, it will never be solved because even these people now, if they want to kidnap more people, they will. I have got our evil intelligence who have given me a report on this matter. And I want to say that from the report my people gave me, there is no way, no amount of soldiers, no amount of money invested on equipment can support this unless you bring development, you bring security to the local governments. I don't mean this local government is created now. If I were the president, he has to call a meeting of uh, uh, the governors. Some governors already have seen that the local government is effective. Government cannot stop all these problems. They can't stop corruption. They can't stop unemployment. They can't stop kidnapping and mandatory unless power goes to local government. If they just continue on this, it will continue the same way. That means they have to create and give more money to the states. And avoid us of doubt. The states at the moment are the federated units. This question of federal government dealing with local government, local government is local. Every state knows the type of structure they require for development. Many years ago, local state had to create more states because they, they needed this for the development. Many other states too have created some local government. That means there was something wrong with local governments. It, it's not, it doesn't matter because the federal unit in this country is the state, and uh, so the local government is local. Every state should create the number of local government they want for their security, for their development, and then to stop unemployment. And corruption will stop because if you give, if you appropriate money to local governments. No, it will be local. Nobody will see anybody going away with their money. Today, everything is at natural level. Individuals have appropriate billions of naira and walk away with it. And nobody bothers because, but if you give money to local government, yes, and somebody in that local government take away the money, mm -hmm. it will go. If you have local government in charge of security, they will be able to see when these children are taken away. But that's what we are doing today. It's a bloody waste of money. And I want federal government to spend the because I had you discussing this before I came in. Yes. I want federal government to spend this money in the, in, the, in the, I want them to spend this money in spending arms and in creating opportunities for people business to thrive, for people for 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 business to thrive in local governments. Emphasis should go into local government. Yes, sir. If we continue what we are doing from Abuja. It will be worse. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, sir. So I want to highlight some things that you'd mentioned earlier because you spoke about local development and state development. So do you believe that Lagos State and the Commissioner Tokumbo Wahab or the Governor Babajide Sonwolu are not focusing on the development with these demolitions but are instead focusing on ethnic um, discrepancies or ethnic tribal tensions within the state. And the second thing is that you talk about fairness in positions and you had said that Igbos are being denied positions. Do you believe that President Bola Tinubu is denying the Igbo population proper representation in the federal government? Yes. Now, as far as Lagos state government is concerned, you know, action speaks louder than voice. Everybody has seen that people's houses have been demolished. I don't need anybody to, everybody knows, I don't need to say it. Lagos State government, uh, under the present leadership, have been demolishing properties. I think they have seen, in the recent report, I think they have seen things stop. But what we are saying, so leaders of the country, leaders of states, Lagos State, should tell them that this, there is hardship. Whether you like it or not, if they stop a trader, because some of we read the thing, people are saying that uh, Ibos have occupied everywhere, Ibo traders. Some of them say wherever Ibo traders are, they are the will be demolished. And they are, they are making good the boast. People have boasted. They are going to demolish all stores, and they are making good the boast by demolition. And we see it. We are human beings, for God's sake. Which, human, which, which group? We see people boasting, they will destroy them, and they destroy them, and we are watching them, and we, people are clapping for them. We cannot be happy because they said it. What they said they are doing. So I think it's left for the government, the state government. But I think from the report I have, they have changed attitude. But I want them to go further. 
to look at the economic situation and know what to do. Now, question of appointment. Let me say it clearly. Igbos are people, when they say they are with you, they are with you. Igbos didn't support Tinibu. We didn't support him. But now, I am their leader. We have said, okay, he has won the he has won election. I mean, and three quarters have found it. Anything, people now who are cause fighting Tinibu, they are fighting to is I think they will destabilize Nigeria. Anybody who is a president of Nigeria, we run around the government want to make sure the government is a success. I don't see anybody talking of impeachment. It doesn't make any sense. It will cause confusion. I don't see anybody talking of military government. It will not help. Igbos, we are business people, entrepreneurs. We want peace. We want a stable government. That is why when there was the, uh, the, 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 the demonstrations, it was decided we are not going and the by that only menu yeah because it will be there i see when i would take on the people's yard or camper the guy see cool and the guy see now bambo i will eat here in a new no update we have a stomach if you name me na an evil by and the world in canada oh yeah boom okay i put on and I can name I was at the key be a bow. You watch a yakita in the Nina Cobia from Prime Minister. Go get Zoku, no dinkeggy. And to cut a morgue. Carly will detail I near. Macoki can ask name is he. What a bear equity and de boyano. What a bass lionel. But a babblous net president. The Bible of Vice President. Nothing, nothing. And the new Muyin Dini in Amegasquano, Umuna is so gonna go off and bar. Maco will give you a Jamie Gedezia, Adrozi, Asimor Guinea, Mesin, or the Carlo. Arachosidi, may I? Make good in the Cobedo City. Came in a jiggy day. One night woke up a mazin and the canon and borrow. A coma can debo. Can you your joy mill? My cousin and you bogadi, my cousin I gadi, I got the kitchen, each other guago. What do you say, Gigi dear? Joe Gaudra. Can you get the mass in the car? I'll come across any boy, Addy. Because they give a jetty if I bow, you won't be dear. I ask no buy, oh no buy, I ask. So be cobbing it down, you bo, you will win again. Oh no buy, I jack over your name, Eber. Can go on the end of before. Unokuniwa, Kifuni and Dumelo, was in the Yan and Bumbi Dibo, Abiana, on the Utia Simon Epapinia. I have Boba Yamba. Came a obedient movement. I call Rokumas and the canoe would be for a movie and fade there. They will never give you that president, that seat. I call the Runa no no pit of the wind, Maninia Ginica Sabo. Mba. Ibomana ni ife. Makoko ke isi ne kuzioku, o ke ife gani isi ne mizi. Opo ne bolo wogi meeting. Chuko chuko wogo ano juo woga ajuwa. Kebe yuko, no boda bana njia. A jun choko nyobu na buni bone ge monte. Ne doa kuwa juo ya. Ane juto wogi abi ife. Isaya. Opo na kama no no. Iya ibomidia. Daro nimo.